This is so close, honestly. Look at this beast. Look how quick he feels. Suarez. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm Jay, and welcome back to Race Glory. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, so we're going to be jumping into another squad builder today. Today's squad builder is around about 150, somewhere between 150 and 200k. Lots of juicy players this week boys and girls, lots of cards I haven't used, lots of new fresh cards. I'm, I'm excited, okay? I'm, I'm excited for this one. So, I mean, I ain't going to waste time boys and girls, let's jump straight into it. Did you see that shit? Did you fucking see that shit? I love it. In fact, it makes me really horny. Alright boys and girls, so where should we start? Uh, let's start off in goal, we obviously got Noya, he's about 20,000 coins. For some reason, pretty much every goalkeeper this year is super cheap. I think Tostegan sells around 50-ish K and he's probably the most expensive one. Okay. Oh yeah, he looks solid, obviously. I mean, he's been solid for years. Not a lot to say, just needing for the chemistry and he's a good goalie. Left back, we got Nico Schultz. Champions League doesn't have to be Champions League. I think I sniped him. So, yeah, that's why we got the Champions League one. Uh, decent fullback, uh, 90 pace, great defending. Just just solid, again, there for chemistry as well. Centre-backs, boys and girls, have gone super fast and super sweaty. Okay, we got Lucas Hernandez. We got Akanji. Both great defensively, boys and girls. Both super fast. It's just There's nothing to say. They're just super sweaty. Uh, amazing cards. I've used a Kanji loads. I haven't used Lucas Hernandez, but he's an arsehole to play against. So I'm, I'm guessing he's good. At right back, another card I haven't used that is Trent Alexander Arnold. Again, like it's just decent. It's nothing special, but it, it's a decent card. I feel like EA did Trent a little bit dirty pace wise. I feel like 80 pace is a bit underwhelming uh, and passing as well. I mean, 82 solid, but listen, fuckhead, you have fucking crossed the line. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. Right, onto the midfield, boys and girls. Okay, so this is a little bit controversial. We have gone with Vidal here. We do need him for chemistry purposes. But uh, I've used Vidal this year. I don't think he's that bad. I know pace obviously is important, but it seems to me at least defensively and midfield wise pace is not as important as it is up front, if that makes sense. I don't know, it probably doesn't make sense, but I've used Vidal at CDM and he's amazing. I don't know how good he is at centre mid and that's why we're going to be playing him today, but I think he's going to be alright. I, I don't feel like he's going to be that bad at all. Next to him we've got Sissoko, boys and girls, a phenomenal card. I've only been using him a little bit in my new team. If you guys watched that video, you'll know that we got Sissoko in that team and He's really, really sweaty, boys. I mean, it's not that surprising. You got 80 pace there. But if you dive into the in games, it's even better. Obviously, high, high work rates, but 85 sprint speed, 90 strength, 91 stamina. Just all the right stats in all the right places. 84 in game dribbling as well. It's pretty nice. 83 stats. It's a phenomenal card. 30,000 guys, no, 25k now. Uh, yeah, just a phenomenal, phenomenal little card there. Properly filthy. Left cam, we've gone with Luke De Jong, boys. Haven't used this card again. It looks really nice. He can't really shoot, which is kind of why I have. Haven't been using him like in other teams before. His dribbling obviously is amazing. His pace is good. Medium high is pretty cool. I mean, it's interesting at least. Yeah, that shooting stats are horrible. So I'm going to try not to shoot with him. But uh, he should be at least semi-decent. Right can, boys and girls. We've gone with Jamie Vardy. Now, if you don't want to do this SBC, let's say, you know, the, the weak foot and the skill moves are putting you off because he is only three star, three star. You can always go with Rashford. And I mean, who is who would be against using Rashford? The guy's an animal this year. So you can get Rashford. He goes the exact same amount it costs costs to go and get Vardy if that makes sense. So he only costs 19k I think Vardy to do the SBC. Rashford also costs 19k so you can get Rashford here if you want. Yeah I guess so. Yeah. Right striker lads we've gone with Lucas Mora. An incredible card. Have I used him this year? I feel like I have, but I don't know. I don't think I have, actually. So I haven't used Lucas Morris here. Four-star, four-star. It's an incredible card, boys. 88 in-game dribbling, boys, is absolutely insane. 93 agility is just mental. It's an incredible card in terms of dribbling, and the shooting stats are really not bad at all, and obviously amazing pace and four-star, four-star. A great card. It goes for, what, 15k? And to finish off the squad builder, boys, we've gone super controversial. Well, I wouldn't say controversial, but it's certainly not a meta strike. We've gone with Luis Suarez. Hello? Yes? Hello, yes? So this card, boys and girls, last year was a very expensive card. At, at this stage in the game, I think I picked up Luis Suarez and he was around about 400k. This year, 
this price tag is just, it's outrageous. 28,000 coins for Luis Suarez. What the fuck? So obviously he did receive the three star skill moves as of last year. No idea why. I mean, I know obviously Luis Suarez isn't like known for his outrageous skills, but there are other cards in this game that don't do skill moves whatsoever and have the four star skill moves. And they, they took it away for some reason last year. He remains a three star skiller. So if you do skills, obviously Luis Suarez is going to be a bit of a letdown for you guys. But he does have the four star weak foot, which is obviously great for me. The pay the pace is not great. Uh, I don't know what his pace was last year, but it, it wasn't it wasn't this slow. I think it was probably more like 77. Uh, but yeah, 73 pace is pretty bad. You can't scare me with this. Shooting stats though, lads, are outrageously good. You got 91 finishing and 86 long shots for a card that is less than 30,000 coins. That is insane. You got really solid dribbling stats, boys. 85 in-game dribbling, great ball control, amazing reactions. Obviously, being Luis Suarez, great composure as well. Again, being Luis Suarez, an amazing card. In in terms of physical stats lads 86 strength is really really nice so it's a really good card other than the pace the pace obviously letting him down hugely i guess and that's why he's so low but uh, in terms of price but i still think this is a great card and and we're going to be playing him as a central cam so i don't think his pace is going to matter as much obviously the passing stats are pretty solid like they're not bad at all so i think he'll be an excellent cam for us so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to play a 4 one 2 one 2 we're going to have sissoko as our cdm i mean you, to be honest with you you can play any one of these three as a cdm uh, Vidal obviously he's probably got the best defensive stats, uh, but he's not so he's not so fast. So we've gone with Sissoko just because he's got a bit extra pace, uh, and and he obviously has the physical stats as well. That's why I've gone with Sissoko as the CDM. But I think we're gonna yeah we have Vidal and and De Jong as the centre mids. We've got Luis Suarez as the cam as I said, and then these two getting in behind boys as strikers. You've got two 92 pace strikers right there. So I think this is gonna be a juicy one today, boys. I got a good feeling. I like the defence. I like the midfield. and I love the attack. I'm so stoked, my dudes. Fairly cheap as well. Well, like I said, it's, it's like less than 200k. This is an outrageously cheap squad builder for the for the caliber of players we've got in here. Players like Luis Suarez, Lucas Malik. These the market is so dead right now. I'm just like I'm saying it. It's so dead that you can pick up a Luis Suarez for 28k. It, it's it, it's insane. And Jamie Vardy being used for the first time as well. It's gonna be it's just just there's a lot of new cards here. I'm, oh, I'm all bubbly excited. This is getting weird, bro. I don't know if I want to continue doing this. Anyway, boys and girls, let's stop being an absolute weirdo let's just jump into a bit of gameplay with the boys fingers crossed for some wins so yeah let's jump into game number one good yes lucas mora i no why did he take that shitey touch into suarez suarez come on that's why he's there boys the 91 finishing Oh, I had a good feeling about Suarez just being that absolute monster in front of goal. Great start. That's a banger of a strike at the near post. That's a 10. Oh, shit. He's completely what, done what, me. What, what, what a what, tackle. What, no, no. He tackled him, but he went across the goal. Okay, Suarez is making a good run. It's a bloody good run. Come on. What a pass. Yes! No! He had to fall to Sissoko, didn't it? Anyone else? Dog shit! It's trash! Good ball. What a pass. Vardy turns to defence! <laughs> yeah, oh, come on! 83rd minute, Cheney Vardy. Good to know, lad. He's done nothing. Nothing for the entirety of this game and comes out with a belter. What's a pass? Suarez, come on. We could end it here and now. That would get us to three points. Oh, please be offside. I mean, onside. Don't be offside. 3-1, onside. What the fuck was that goal, lads? Bam! The finger gun. Oh, Jamie Vardy. He's running havoc. He's running absolute havoc, boys. I don't know how to tell you. Come on, Suarez. Just just Jamie Vardy. Just, he's just... He's going all alone, boys. Oh! We're looking for that one more. Suarez, that'll do it. That'll do it, boys. Torn him apart last 10. Tore him apart. It's Luis Suarez and Vardy show at the minute, lads. Stop! He's already dead. Well, lads, I mean, I don't even know where that performance came from because we where we started well, and then we started to we started to die off a bit. We were defending really good, and then we conceded, and then all of a sudden the team just came to life. Jamie Vardy 
was out of this world in the last 10 minutes. Luis Suarez obviously bagging himself an extra goal. So it's 4-1, just out of nowhere. Yeah, lads, I was really happy with the overall performance. I thought Sissoko was incredible in front of the back four. Lucas Hernandez was amazing. Neuer made a couple of really nice saves. I didn't think that Lucas Moura did that much. That's the only person who, well, I wouldn't say let me down. He just wasn't that involved. But Luis Suarez was magnificent. Jamie Vardy was incredible, especially in the last 10. I mean, it, it, before that, I would have said that Jamie Vardy was shit. But uh, yeah, he, he proved me wrong. So that was cool. And yeah, just a great, great first game, lads. So let's jump straight into game number two. Oh shit! Oh, brother, oh, okay, he's, he's, he's probably got me. Stinks. Yeah. Ah. Don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just not good. Look at him. He's a beast. Luis Suarez is a beast. Look at him. That's beautiful play, by the way. Absolutely beautiful play. One more. Lucas Mora on side. There we go. One all back in it. Sokos, honestly, look at this beast. Look how quick he feels. Suarez. <laughs> Suarez. Are you seeing that finish? Oh my god, why is Luis Suarez completely free? Why is Jamie Vardy completely free? Look at that touch from Jamie Vardy. Oh my god, I love this team. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, it's getting late. I should probably keep the noise down, but. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I, what am I, what am I, what am I doing? Oh, dear. Lads, I, I feel sick. <laughs> You're a donut! You're so stupid! I'm seeing that Frankie de Jong run. I've picked him out with absolute precision, and Jamie Vardy is gonna bury it. God, I absolutely threw the, I mean, I literally threw the lead. Um, and yeah, that's that's how you get it back, boys. With a prolific pass and a devastating finish from Jamie Vardy. Come on, boys. Oh, excuse me. Defense. Are you kidding me with... No! Oh, that block was discussed. Yes. Oh, this game is getting crazy, boys. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful play. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well-class football from the lads. I love you, bitch. Yeah, guys. I mean, another great performance. That performance probably even better than the first one. It, you know, that guy showed a lot of grit and, and, you know, stayed in there and managed to get the comeback. And we managed to produce the goods to finally win the game. And, yeah, just a great performance. Lucas Hernandez. I cannot say enough good things about this kid. He is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. He's got the pace. He's got incredible defending. He feels so good. Honestly, love him. Sissoko was phenomenal in this game. Just a beast. He tackles people. He's strong. And then he's got the, the dribbling and the pace to be able to get up the field with it and, and lay it off to the Suarez's and the Vardy's and shit. He's incredible. Luis Suarez, another great performance. Just his finishing is next level. Lucas Moura was phenomenal. I think he scored two goals in this game. I think, yeah, he did. And Jamie Vardy are getting another two goals. Those two are just running wild with that pace. I'm loving it, boys. I'm loving the team. It is phenomenal. It feels so good. So we jump into one more game, boys and girls, and hopefully we'll grab three wins in a row. But yeah, this team, I, I cannot say enough good things about it. It's so nice. It's so good. So so hopefully, hopefully we get another win. So let's jump straight into game number three. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a Soko. Look at him. He's a beast. Vardy. Just look at him. He's so quick as well. And then lay it off. And that's it. He just It's game over when you get it to Luis Suarez, boys. It is game over when you get it to that man. Because he ain't missing. Jamie, Lucas, give me that run. Great ball. Yes, Suarez. It's a good ball, but Suarez is a bit slow to get it. Suarez, I'm seeing Vidal. It's a great pass. It's a bit aid. Oh, it's very aid. And Jamie Vardy does not mind that one bit. 23 minutes, 2-0. Ooh, you're hard. Nice. Swear that's on side. Jamie Vardy. The guy's runs are just unreal. He makes incredible runs. He's got the pace and the finishing. I don't I oh, just I just love the team, man. It's actually so sick. Like it's so good. No. Let's come on, Michelle. Can we just have a, a relatively comfortable performance, please? Oh, please. 
Of course he would be back in it. I just... Comfort is not something I'm used to, and I just... I just have to concede to make it interesting, don't I? I just... I've just accidentally fucking subbed on Deli Alley for Luis Suarez. Oh! F Deli Alley's through. He's in. Deli Alley should not be part of this squad builder. He's missed it anyway. Had it been Suarez, boys, he would have buried it. I'm just saying. Good stuff, Lucas Mora. What a touch that is from Lucas Mora in that desk game. He just... Honestly, that front three. I, I'm, I'm annoyed I sub Suarez off, but... That front three is something else. Lucas Mora with the pace dribbling, shooting. Jamie Vardy with the pace and the shooting. Suarez with the finishing. It's just, oh my word. What a squad builder that was. This was a delight to play. I actually enjoy playing FIFA. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, lads, I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record at this point. The team was great. Midfield was great. Defence was incredible, especially Lucas Hernandez. Attack was phenomenal. Uh, Jamie Vardy getting himself, I think, six goals in total. Lucas Mora couldn't have been far off that. He probably would have got at least four. Luis Suarez was phenomenal before I subbed him off by accident. Uh, but he bagged himself, what, three or four goals? Uh, he was, again, just another level. Uh, I think it was actually, yeah, it was four goals from Suarez. I think I remember exactly. But, yeah, just phenomenal. I loved everyone, seriously. I, I, I know I'm sounding like a broken record at this point. But it was really, really good. And I do think if you've only got around 150 to 200k, I definitely think this is a squad builder you should you should show the time of day because it was it was it was beautiful. It really was. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm gonna call it a day there because it's starting to get on and uh, I'm making a bit too much noise. So uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you did enjoy this episode of the Race Glory. If you did, smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next. All right, peace.